So. I will tell how the how the radiation boundary is given to the radiation bond. Okay. So till now we created the antenna structure. Here you can see. So select F button and press F button and select the radiation box. Sides like this. And top one also. Except bottom, I selected all the sides of the radiation box. Okay. Now, active assign boundary radiation. Click OK. So here you can see boundaries radiation. Radiation will be created. After that, right click on radiation, insert power field setup, infinite space. Here you can give minus 180 to 180, and here also minus 180 to 180. Data. Okay, just click OK. Now just validate the export. You can see here analysis setup was showing error. Now you have to rectify that error. So for that purpose, right click on the analysis, add solution setup, advanced. And here I am designing a frequency approximately 2.3 gigahertz. And number of passes I am taking 20. Just click OK. And this is the start and stop frequency. You can give 1 to 3 gigahertz. Here I am giving 1.15 to 3.45 gigahertz. Just click OK. And now again validate the experiment. Now everything will be perfect. Now go to HFSS, analyze all. Okay, it will take some time. So analysis setup was completed and analyze also completed and uh, progress window done. Now we will see the performance of this coaxial probe fat antenna. Just click on results, right click, create model solution data report, rectangular plot, test parameter S11, DB, Just click new report. Now you can see the S11 plot of our antenna. So this antenna is operating at 2.36 gigahertz. It has lowest S11 of minus 31 dB. And at the remaining frequencies, the return loss is very high. So the operating frequency of this antenna is 2.36 gigahertz. Similarly, you can check the VSWR plot also. Just click on VSWR. No units, new report. You can see at the operating frequency, the antenna has approximately one VSW. VSW is one. Now we can see the radiation plot also. Just go to create power field report, ready polar plot, gain, gain total. And gain is always in dB with new report. You can see gain plot. Okay, here we are getting 6.9 dB K. Okay. You can visualize here also. Just click 
clot fields radiation field gain clot 1 apply now you can see how the antenna is radiating the signals okay for better visibility go to i symbol and uh, click on ready untick the ready automatically that will be disappear now you can see how the field is radiating from the patch end clearly we can observe okay This is the one of the advantage of HF and you can see the electric field, magnetic field and current distributions along the patch also. Okay. So that option is also available in HF How Have you check the electric field distributions? I'm removing, removing gain plot. Okay, now I am selecting the patch. Okay, I just named it as rectangular one. You can name as patch also. Okay, select the patch and right click, plot fields. If you want to get electric field just select E otherwise magnetic field or you can see the current distribution also electric field if I want to get electric field in vector form then just click on vector underscore E okay and just I am clicking all objects radiation so how the electric field is distributed across the patch. You can animate this picture also. Just click plot fields. This one. Just click animate. Now you can see it will take some time and it will show how the electric field is flowing inside the patch. Okay, it will take some time. Now you can see. Now you can see the field variations. Okay. Like that also.